Hi, I'm Lisa Bick. I live here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm an encaustic artist. The word encaustic comes from the Greek word encausticos, meaning to burn. The ancient Greek sailors used it in their between the chinking and the logs in their ships, and the ancient e Egyptians used it on sarcophagi paintings. Um, I'm going to demonstrate some basic encaustic techniques. I melt my beeswax at a temperature of about 100, 250 degrees. I can color the bees, I can pigment my beeswax. This one's white, this one's plain. I melt my beeswax, I make a medium with beeswax and Damar resin, which gives it a hardening quality. The wax goes on quickly and it cools as it goes on, so I have to move fast as I place it on the panel. I move it quickly across the Great surface. Go. The next step of, it, of an encaustic process, I've, I've applied the hot wax to this panel. And now I have to use a heat source, either a blowtorch or a heat gun, to fuse that wax onto the layer beneath. And my next step, after applying the first layer of hot wax, is I'm going to make some marks into this wax. I'm going to use a hammer. I'm just going to use this chain and hammer the chain right into the wax. When I pull the chain up, I can now go back into it. And you can see where the marks are. What are you using? I'm using a beeswax mixture mixed with oil pigment and linseed oil. And I'll rub the pigment right into the marks that the chain made. I just used your basic canola oil, corn oil, to wipe off the excess pigment. And here you can see where I made the marks in the wax. With the chain. So the chain sort of meanders through. I'll get all that excess off. Now I've removed the excess pigment and any pigment that I apply to the wax needs to be fused. Water. And you can see the marks that the chain made. Okay, I'm gonna lay another layer of plain wax on top of those marks I made. Then again, I have to fuse every layer. And the fusing simply melts that layer into the layer beneath it to make a solid surface. Now I'm gonna take this wonderful little stenciled piece, lay it on top of the warm wax. And I don't want the entire image. I'm just gonna do some of the edges. So I'm going to hammer these and make marks in the wax. Oops, it's picking it up. It's a little warm. I like this little hexagonal. It looks like a beehive to me. And of course the wax comes from bees. Pull that up. I'm going to take some oil paint and rub it into those marks. Now I'm going to use the oil again to just wipe off the excess and see the marks that I've made that time around. Get the excess pigment off this little panel. I like using razor blades as well because it's a way of subtracting and highlighting some of the areas. Over here I want it to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to scrape away some of that darker pigment that I don't like. Okay, now I'm going to use these wonderful pigment sticks. And I'm going to rub some color into this. And I love the translucency of this medium. I can lay, it's like laying veils of color, like diaphanous 
pieces of silk on top of each other. And I can pull up some of the ridges I've made. And go into this and pick up some of the marks. Now I'm going to lay a little bit of color on top of these areas to bring out some of the highlights. And of course, everything that I put down has got to be fused. So I'll come back in. People often ask how encaustic, if encaustic will melt, it melts at 150 degrees. So if your house is 150 degrees, you've got more problems than my melted painting. Highlights in here to make myself happy. And I think I'm gonna add just a touch more red because the basis of this painting was red to begin with and I kind of like that. I do a lot of finger painting The other thing I can do is I can come in here with a razor blade and I can make marks that, marks that I can then pick up with pigment and see those marks later. I'm going to fuse this first. I'll come back in with... This needs to cool before I go any farther. It's getting a little muddy. <laughs> I'm going to use a sarin, trans, a seral transfer paper, and I'm going to use my own calligraphy. And that will transfer right to the wax. Again, any mark has to be used in the wax video. And there we are. Um, fired outside of a 